Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen briefly on what is OCI streaming. We had created a stream, stream pool, and also we had pushed a message into a stream with the help of REST API. And also we had fetched the message using REST API. We had seen what are the cursor, how to create a cursor, and how to fetch the message. In this video, we are going to create OIC integration. That is to put a message into a stream and we are going to create one more integration which act which will act as a consumer and get the message from a stream we are going for this approach because starting with oic gen 2 environment the oic publish and subscribe pattern got deprecated so for that purpose we have to make use of oci streaming as per the recommendation of oracle so i already created these two integration that is a put message to stream int and get message from stream IA integration. I have built that integration with the help of this documentation that is using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Streaming Service Adapter with Oracle integration. So I will provide the link for this documentation in my blog. Please check out my blog for more details. Now I will walk you through the put message to stream integration. This I have exposed over REST endpoint. This is a sample uh, REST message this integration accepts and the same I will be sending it to stream. Now once this integration gets triggered by a REST invocation, we are going to make use of OCI streaming and we are going to put the message. I will show you shortly how we can configure this OCI connection. Here provide some name for this endpoint and description if any. From the selection we have to select this public messages to stream. In the next window it will ask for the stream name we have to select the stream name. So if you are having multiple streams created in the OCI streaming it will ask for those specify the partition. If you want to specify a partition in which your message should go then you can provide it over here as I had only one partition for my stream I made it default because it will always go for zero. Specify the message structure I have provided as if not it will go as a binary. I have provided the schema for this JSON in the next step. Do you want to specify the headers for the message? I have provided S. If you want to send a headers, then you can provide it over here. As I told, I have provided uploaded that JSON file over here in order to construct the message. And the, this is the dummy header what I am passing. That's it in the configuration. So once uh, we are sending the message in the mapper, it's one to one mapping. What I'm getting in the request I'm sending and in uh, header I'm passing some dummy value and I'm mapping. So that's it input message. Now let me show you the get message from stream integration. In ideal case this should be created as a scheduled integration but I have created as a REST. It's your personal choice if you are having any cron job running then you can expose it as a REST and someone else might trigger this integration as an event. If not you can create a scheduled integration and schedule it to run at a specified frequency. Now in order to configure this as a get message I made use of OCI streaming connection. Provide some. I have provided some name over here. In the operation, there are two operations consume message from stream and consume message from stream by offset. If you want to fetch the message by a particular offset value, then you can go for that option as well. I'm, I'm going for this consume message from stream. Click on this next. So here we have to select the stream from which we are going to fetch the message. We have to specify the partition. As I have only one partition, I have mentioned it over here, zero. And if you are looking for some other partition, you can uh, mention it over while configuring this connection. You can select as a default, then that will consider all the available partition for the selected stream. So maximum number of records to be fetched, I have made as 10. Do you want to specify the message structure I have uh, provided as no? If you are getting a, a common message or the structure uh, of message uh, every time, then you can uh, provide the message over here, message structure. If not, uh, it's a variable thing, then you can select no. Uh, specify the option for consuming messages, read latest. For more details, you can come over here and uh, read the details. What does read latest mean? It reads the latest messages starting at the time at which the integration was activated. Read from beginning means read to select to read the messages from the beginning as an example. If you select to read from the beginning and have activated the integration, then it will read the 20 records and next schedule run, it will pick next 20 and in the next, it will read next 20. In this case, it will read all the messages. Opening this in a a view mode. So if you open an edit mode, you will find the option to select that. So once then uh, you can click next message structure if any it will ask over here uh, headers uh, if you want to fetch any uh, you can provide the header from here yeah that's it uh, if you want to pass this uh, details to some other application then you can have the logic built over here i'm just uh, sending it uh, in the response i'm closing this oci streaming how to configure the oci streaming connection for that we have to click on this create button search for streaming select this Provide some name, uh, provided some random name. A bootstrap server, uh, you have to provide it over here. A username, password, 
trust store coming to server bootstrap server uh, details username and the password these details uh, you can find in your uh, OCI streaming if you go for this stream pool under stream pool you have to select your appropriate stream pool for the stream you have to select this kafa connection uh, settings here you will get the bootstrap server and in the SAS SASL connection settings you will get the uh, username provide the same thing over here and for the password you have to give the odd token here SASL password is nothing but odd token you have to provide it over here and for the key store you can follow the documentation if you go for the documentation under create a connection under trust store click on this prerequisite for creating a connection once you open this you will land on this uh, page here again uh, it shows from where you can get the username password you can uh, get from there as well and you know in order to create the trust store file jks file what you have to do is we have to export the certificate and then we can run those commands uh, what i have used is i have made use of this cloud shell over here i have exported my certificate by clicking on this uh, lock icon go to connection is secure go for this icon click on details uh, go for this certificate pass select the root over here then click on the view certificate go for details click on the copy file go for next and select it i have selected base 64 encoded x64 click next browse where you want to save this file and click on next and save the file once you get the cr file you have to upload it to over here and run the commands as it is mentioned over here once you upload it to your cloud shell you have to run this key tool command over here you don't, don't have to run this echo open ssl copy that command and create this cr so we'll upload from our browser i have used microsoft edge for that then once you upload it to cloud shell then you have to run this command and create the .jks file once it has created you have to export it i have covered in detail video on this how you can upload a file to cloud shell how you can download a file to cloud shell please check out the video i will give the link in the card section okay once you upload this trust store and password you can click on test and save it will complete the connection suppose if you want to use this connection as a trigger then you have to add the agent group over here okay you have to export the connectivity agent from our oic create a computer instance in oci and then you have to install that agent in that particular instance which will be able to talk with our OCA streaming then only you are able to use this as a trigger else you can only use as an invoke like how i am using now we are going to put a message i am here in the test window for put message to stream here i am giving a order number something random number price i am making as 155 type is 01 television okay click on test yeah this is successful now we are going to get the message let me go back and test this go to body have some random uh, rest request ignore this click on test this is the request uh, with which i had triggered there are two messages uh, i have made this integration to return the messages in a list one is this uh, quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog uh, this we, i tested just now over postman okay this is what i had pushed from our put integration where our order ID was 12347, price was 155, and the product name was television. If you want to check the in detail how it is uh, returning the response, you can expand this. Here, while sending the request, I had sent the header as 01 in number header. Again, you can build a function and you can filter those things. Uh, you can customize uh, these headers. You can filter out what needs to be, what message needs to be filtered out. Based on this header, we can route the orders to a particular application. And the content, you can see over, it over here. Again, the ideal thing is we have to uh, always make sure we are pushing the content in base 64. So this was stored at 8th offset value and in the partition 0 and the status is success. So like this uh, we can make use of OCI streaming and uh, Oracle integration cloud and we can create the publish subscribe design pattern with the help of streaming. In our next video we will make use of function and we will uh, customize this publish subscribe solution further.